everyone. My name is Miley Branson and I am the Science Director at the Chugach Regional Resources Commission and the Olympic Pride Marine Institute. I'm here today to talk to you about our Chugach Regional Ocean Monitoring Program. Uh, it's a comprehensive biotoxin, phytoplankton, and water chemistry monitoring program throughout South Central Alaska. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a little bit of background about the Chugach Regional Resources Commission. Chugach Regional Resources Commission, or CERC for short, is a nonprofit entity located in Anchorage, Alaska, serving seven tribes in the Prince William Sound and Lower Cook Inlet region. CERC is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that serves as an intertribal fish and wildlife commission. The seven tribes of the Chugach region established CERC in 1984 to address the environmental and natural resource issues of concern to their members. The mission of CERC is one, to promote and support tribal management and the development of tribal natural resource management programs. Two, to advocate cooperation with private, state, and federal resource management agencies. Three, develop and enhance natural resource management education and training. And four, promote sustainable and sound economic development. CERC also assists its member tribes in developing their te technical capacity to be more meaningfully involved in the environmental and natural resource decisions and regulations that affect their traditional use areas and resources. We operate the Aludic Pride Marine, in Marine Institute, located in Seward, Alaska, which is the only tribal hatchery in the state of Alaska. The Aludic Pride Marine Institute has been in operation since 1990 and have been providing many services to our member tribes over the years. The tribes and tribal members of CERC include the Tatitlik Village IRA Council, Native Village of Eak and Cordova, Port Graham Village Council, Nanwalik IRA Council, Chiniga Bay IRA Council, Katuchik Native Tribe in Seward, and the Valdez Native Tribe. These people are known as Alutik and are a Southern Coastal People of Alaska. The seven tribes of Cirque are located in Prince William Sound and Lower Cook Inlet. One of our main goals here at Cirque is to maintain subsistence harvest availability of natural resources for our peoples. The intrinsic value of harvesting local food in traditional ways cannot be overstated. When our tribal members lose connections to their food, they lose part of their culture. Cirque hopes these resources can serve as a reminder of the importance of traditional foods for Alaska Natives as guides for tackling environmental issues affecting the Chugach region of Alaska and for anyone working with natural resources who hopes to collect more information on climate change issues affecting tribal lands and people. Our seven tribes have continually expressed concern for the health of their subsistence species. This figure draws from our most recent board meeting in which tribal members expressed growing concern for the safety of subsistence shellfish. Our region relies heavily on subsistence foods in their diets and as such has a high need for biotoxin monitoring. The increase in how related illness has heightened the sensitivity of all shellfish consumers, particularly the Alaska native population. It is important to be able to ensure that all Alaskans can eat from the land and do so safely. As you can see, these are some of our tribal members enjoying subsistence harvest opportunities. Um, we also have some recipes here, and these are some traditional Alaskan recipes from our tribe members. All right, so let's talk about our Chugach Regional Ocean Monitoring Program. This is a newly established program at the Aleutic Pride Marine Institute that builds upon some of our older monitoring efforts. As part of our environmental program here at CERC, we have a community environmental sampler at each of the seven tribal consortium villages who participates in weekly sample collection. Samples are sent to Aludic Pride Marine Institute for further analysis and metadata is uploaded to the Aludic Pride Marine Institute database online. This figure demonstrates the core structure of the CROM program. At the top, you see a community sampler. This individual is a community or tribe member who collects samples on a weekly basis for Aludic Pride. These samplers are located at all seven of our tribal communities and submit samples to our staff on a weekly basis for analysis. On the second row in green are all of the samples and associated data collected by the field sampler. This includes phytoplankton toes, seawater chemistry samples, shellfish samples on a summer seasonal basis, and all associated environmental data. On the third row are analyses conducted for these samples. In gray are analyses conducted during 2021. 
Phytoplankton toes undergo microscopic species identification either on site or at eluted pride. And seawater carbonate chemistry samples are analyzed by eluted pride staff using the percolator to examine dissolved inorganic carbon content. In pink are analyses we plan to begin in 2022. This includes biotoxin monitoring and shellfish using both the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay method and the receptor binding assay method. Finally, in blue are the analyses we plan to bring on board in 2023. This includes quantitative PCR for species identification and nutrient analyses. While our seawater chemistry data are still undergoing QA, QC, and finalization, we do have phytoplankton monitoring results to share. We monitored Alexandrium and Pseudonychia, the primary producers of paralytic shellfish toxins and domoic acid, respectively, throughout the year and found minor increases in abundance of both. The presence of Alexandrium was observed in Seward and Seldovia at several periods throughout the summer. However, these quantities were not notably elevated. The presence of Pseudonychia was observed in Seward, Seldovia, and at both Cannery Creek and AFK hatcheries in Prince William Sound. These quantities were also not notably elevated. So the objectives and outcomes that we plan to see from this Chrome program include, first and foremost, safe shellfish harvest for all stakeholders. This includes subsistence mariculture and recreational users. And we plan to disseminate these data so that they are available to all stakeholders, um, both on our website and Facebook page. Um, baseline coastal marine conditions in Prince William Sound and Lower Cook Inlet. These may help to form a comprehensive view of oceanic conditions as it relates to the bigger ecological picture in the region. And finally, we can use these data to inform modeling efforts. And I realize that forecasts are in the distant future, but uh, perhaps to inform forecasting efforts as well. And on the left here, you have one of our field samplers. This is Naomi McMullen. She is a tribal resident of Port Graham. And on the bottom left, you have our percolator here. This does seawater, comprehensive seawater chemistry analyses. And that is one of our eluded pride employees, Jacqueline Ramsey, who's our percolator queen. Thanks for listening and please check us out online. Again, my name is Miley Branson. I am the Science Director for Eludic Pride Marine Institute and the Chugach Regional Resources Commission. My email is there at the bottom, miley at eluticpridek.org, if anyone should wish to contact me with further questions. Thank you.